Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials for GCL. So today in this video, I would like to share you one of the important concept called refer back in GCL. So we are going to see this in details by connecting to the Mainframe Terminal and I will be showing you practically how do we use refer back and what is the importance of it and uh, how it reduces the complexity of programming a JCL. So let's go ahead and see by connecting to the mainframe terminal. So here you go. Here it is. Here is your mainframe terminal and connected to the mainframe machine and here this is your JCL which is written in a JCL lib PDS member. Okay, so you have the JCL, all, as you all know, the JCL is, will always start with the JCL, uh, I mean, the job card. So, here in the refer back, so here I'm giving a description showing like JCL showing how refer back works. So, first thing is what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to delete the data sets. Uh, I'm trying to use these two data sets. Just I'm giving the, I'm making sure that if the if these data sets are already existing, I'm trying to delete these two data sets initially itself. So I'm giving the step A and step B. So you know that uh, you know that how do we delete the data sets by giving specifying old delete delete so that it will get deleted. So next step is uh, in the next step I'm trying to create a data sets with the called as PS1 and uh, in the next step what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create another data set by acquiring the properties of the step one so how do I acquire the properties so in order to extract the properties of this so we have something called we use a concept called refer back so by referring the properties of step one I'm trying to use it so how do we refer so you'll be giving normally data set name and disposition space and units as it is so if you want to use the same properties that is record format record length and block size of this instead of coding entire this area what you can do is just give asterisk dot which step one dot dd1 in the DCB parameters, these DCB parameters, I'm trying to refer the properties of step one. So how do you refer? Go to step one and which DD. So you may have multiple DDs in this particular steps, but you have to specify that specific DD name. For example, uh, you might have something called, uh, let me, mm, okay, something DD2, DD2 and r4 okay so you might have dd3 4 5 6 and 7 okay so many dd statements are there here so so many files are there okay each file will have some uh, properties defined for this or not okay so in order to use that if you want to use this particular properties of this properties of this particular file so what you do to do is asterisk dot step one dot dd5 I'm since I'm using the properties of dd1 so I'm defining as asterisk dot step one dot dd1 okay this is how uh, the refer back will be used and it will reduce the lot of programming complexity and it is easy to use and uh, it is a good practice to use a refer back so you will be having multiple steps involved so where you want to call a different uh, files so instead of giving the complete full name so just you with the help of refer back you can go and use it so here it is so this step I'm giving trying to create the PS1 and next step is to create a refer back position and after creating a refer back so let's go ahead and run it what happens here okay just trying to append it and the JCL statement so what do you say let's go ahead and submit and let's see what happens here okay before this uh, what I want to confirm is like why I have given these two statements just I want to check it if these files are already existing or not okay let's go and 3.4 okay okay see I can see like this is already there and this is already there so when I run this this data set should be deleted so that's the reason I'm keeping it as I gave these two steps so that if it is already existing it will get deleted and create the new data sets okay so uh, submit 
you can see max cc is zero if you want to verify it just go to spool and verify it okay you have step a okay step a was executed why because the data set was existing that's the reason it is first uncatalogued and it is then deleted so see you when you specify delete delete so it will what we'll do is first step is to uncatalog from the data I mean from uncatalog this data set and then completely delete this data set same thing happened for this uncatalog this data set and delete this now in the step one what we gave is use it to catalog so that is you we are telling to create a new data set and catalog this data set so that it gets cataloged and uh, it's get created and the same way uh, first step two was executed with condition code zero zero and it has created the ps2 file with the same parameter let's go ahead and see if it has been okay i think iabr okay let's see if this data set is existing yes it's there so you can see this has properties of uh, VPS 80, 800 and 15 and 10 so you can see the same thing for uh, PS FB 80, 18 okay so how this happened so this is this because of this refer back you're able to do that right so let's go back to our JCL okay this is one way of representing the refer back so another way of representing uh, refer back is like uh, you have uh, you have a data set I mean this is the IEB general utility which is used to copy a data set from one file to another file so you have some X file that is input file so you want to store the data set into another uh, output file so for example I am creating output file in this particular step 2 so I want to use this data set so if I want to use this data sets what we are what we need to do we have to do we have to follow the same process which we did for uh, acquiring the properties of DCB so instead of uh, DD uh, here we gave like we are specifying it in DCB star step 1 DD1 right in the same way you have to do it for step 2 dot dd2 so dsn will change it here you are using in dcb here instead of using uh, dcb you are using it as a file name so that it the file name will be placed if you are using in dcb these properties will be coming here if you are using in dsn uh, this file will come over and set it here okay let's go ahead and see what happens now you can see just uh, just to cross verify the things so what I'm trying to do is we'll go and see so do you have any data in PS1 it's empty do you have any data set in PS2 empty okay and what I'm trying to do is you have some input data set over here just check it if you have any data here okay copy so it is confirmed that we don't have any data in PS2 file okay so here what you do is paste it enter so browse it so you have a data set you have some something eight records no how many records you have okay you have three seven records okay so let's go back and type to refer back and then submit it first these two data sets get deleted and it will create the two data sets and it will copy the data set to uh, from input to ps2 so let's go ahead and see enter as successfully written code is zero then go and go to the spool and verify it verify it if you have if this your job has been successfully completed or not so here is it data set utility for IV generator it has been completed successfully step 1 condition code and catalog and catalog that is done then step 3 was executed cataloged then step 3 has been successfully executed then step 4 okay now we'll see the output you know that PS2 it need to the data should be copied to PS2 file okay just open it here you go here it is the data set got copied into your ps2 file so 
this is how a refer back works and it's how you know you just saw the importance of these data sets right so I think if you uh, if you like this video kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel so that I would whatever the postings or whatever the uploads I make it to youtube you will get an email alerts so that you can refer back whenever you want it so kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like this video please like share or comment this thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day